Hello everyone, here is Evie Mondo come again with another episode of what? Bottom balancing, discharging ourselves. It's a question being asked by one of my subscribers, Mr. David. Mr. David, thank you for being my subscriber and uh, thank you very much and thank everyone who is doing a great job of subscribing to my channel or talking about it please continue to share my videos that will actually help me is the only favor i will ask for you guys to do to my channel to do to me it will help me so much to put up more videos every time i'm doing this because i really love it i really love doing what i'm doing that's why i am here doing it i love playing with these 18650s I also have different projects going on and uh, but I am, I am more focused on these batteries and this MG midget to have a better range and uh, show you guys how this project can be done it is easy and I'm doing it okay let's go ahead and talk about our 18650 batteries how to discharge them tonight oh, Tonight I'm going to be showing you guys the, the easy way to discharge them, which everyone does it, is getting an IMAX charger from eBay and uh, you know what, connect it, get a, a battery holder, 18650 battery holder, you connect them and you connect them together and you can discharge your 18650 batteries. If you actually interested on this IMAX, how to do it? leave a comment i'm going to connect it together i'm going to discharge the batteries i'm going to show you how to do it it is easy i'm going to do it to you if you want to know about the imax leave a comment i'm going to make a video that for you so that is how i discharge the individual cells but when it comes to discharging big models like this one which it is a little bit challenging it is difficult to find something that will actually discharge all these ones, especially the 20 packs that you guys saw. So it is kind of be like, how do you do that? So I'm about to show you the most easy way. Please watch the video till the end because you may miss so many things that it's a little bit of words here and there. So make sure you watch the video to the end in order to get everything so i will leave a link under this video please click thumbs up on the video and click on the link close to it and it will take you to a website it's not just a common website like ebay it is a website of someone that i personally know ev west michael he will he will sell you a, a whole kit of it that you ship it to you is so cheap and it first thing it works great it really works so follow the video that i'm follow this video and uh, when you click to his website you also see another video that will also teach you how to do it but please if you want to buy the kit click on my link and it will take you to the website I'm not making any money out of it. If you want to discharge your 18650s very fast, that's the most fastest way to do it. It is fast. I've never seen that that's really fast than any system you will see around right now. Let's go over to the other table and I'm going to show you how to assemble all the kit so that you can be able to discharge your batteries anytime you want to. It's easy guys. Let's go. When you receive your kit, it will come with battery cables, the voltage sensing wires, you have the 0 0.1 ohms 300 watt resistor, you have the two gland nuts, which are these, these ones, you will have the power supply, which is the DC to DC step up then you will have 
the voltage alarm and you have the voltage display you have the electronic case and you have the heat burial pipe these are all the things that you're gonna receive on your kit right now we're gonna focus to see how you're gonna assemble it the first thing you want to do is to take our 300 watt resistor so you will mark where it's supposed to go right here we already know it's going to go right here so we're gonna make holes we'll make the last pretty pretty so this is how it's going to look like so at this time the next thing we we'll want to do is mount our glam nuts into this thing Take off this piece, mount this one directly inside. This is how it's looking. At this time, we will insect our cables and uh, mount our ring terminals. At this time, we are going to do the same thing on this other side. Insect it. Mount the terminals. These are the ring terminals. You have to make sure that they are well pressed. When they're well pressed, the only thing you have to do right now is to insert our 300 watt resistor. And uh, I will advise you to take out this piece the cable on one side just so that it should be easy then you can mount the terminal directly on the resistor you will repeat the same thing on the other side of it This, this is the product that we have right now. Our two terminals and the two cables going in here, the negative and the positive. So now is the time to connect our sensoring wires. These are the sensoring wires. So what we are going to do is one of these will go on this one, go into the, the, the terminal it will go in here then right here it is going to go around and uh, I will do some soldering right right on the other side of the terminal so make sure it is well soldered in place It 
have to put back this one. Side and the terminal, it goes back like that. And this is what you're going to have. So here we repeat, we will do the same thing guys. And here, this is the product you end up with. So your two censoring wires that goes into the reason of soldering on the other side of the terminal is it's main thing is to solder on the part that the load is not there so that in this case we'll have a more accurate reading this way. Okay, now that we have our product on this stage, we have to attach our DC to DC step up. Okay, now guys that we have our instrument ready. You know, the main purpose of this thing is to, I have to bottom balance my battery pack to 2.7. So I have already uh, drained down my battery, discharged one of my battery to 2.7. So right now, when I put my, connect my negative, my positive to positive and negative to negative right here, what happens here is right on the input i am seeing 2.7 but here i will see over 10 volt because of this dc to dc step up so what i will do right now is to take my beeper i've already calibrated this one so i'm not going to touch it but i'm just going to show you how to do it when you connect it to the desired voltage that you want to bottom balance your batteries to Right now, you need to take a little screwdriver, turn this thing down until clockwise, until you hear a beep with a red light. And when you hear that beep, it means that it has reached about 10 volts. So it's seen 10 volts. So what will happen? Immediately, this thing see 10 volts, it will automatically know that your battery pack is at 2.7 volt. So, this thing here i will tell you when you are discharging your batteries with please don't leave the area because if you leave where you are even if this thing beep and turn to red it will keep discharging your battery so you must be present you must be present so that this thing should not drain your battery deals will kill it will drain your battery to zero volt so this thing will drain your battery to zero volt. It is a very nice system, but when you are using it, you have to be there. So even if I'm too fast on this video, I will leave a link under this video so that when you click and go to it, you'll see another video. It's a website and this guy is a very nice guy. So give him a call. He will sell you most of these things. And he will, sell, he will send you a kit of this. He has it on his website. So I got it from him. It is working good. It's the fastest way of discharging these batteries. And it is great. It is working great and it is fast. So I will recommend you to go get it. Get it because it is good. But you have to be present when you are doing this job. You can't connect your batteries and leave the area so thank you go take a look give me some comments ask more questions about it i will answer it to you or you give them a call directly it's evie west give evie west a call talk to michael or to john they'll be happy to save you thank you so when you connect it to your battery when you connect to your battery you will see this light right here green meaning that what that it is discharging, your battery is still on the voltage that's supposed to be discharged. When it, when it turns red and it's blinking like that, it means your battery has reached the desired voltage. So you need to take it off immediately. Take it off immediately, don't leave it there. It will drain your battery.
with this casing make sure that you put these electronics in this casing and seal it up so that it should not cause any shock thank you